Okay, here's how we mix our dye. We're going to use trans tint purple dye, and this is mixed. One ounce of dye to one quart of water. In this case, we want it to dry just a little bit quicker than water, so we're going to use half water and half denatured alcohol, which is located here. And you can use tap water, it works just fine, or you can buy distilled water. And so rather than mixing a full quart, we just want to do half of a quart. So that's going to be approximately one cup of alcohol to one cup of water to half an ounce of dye. So here I just got plain tap water. I'm going to measure one cup. Goes into our mixing cup. Then we're going to want one cup of denatured alcohol. Make sure you wear safety glasses when pouring this. And you're in a well ventilated area because this stuff can get strong. Okay, so that's two cups. Takes four cups to make a quart. Okay, so now we have our one cup of denatured alcohol with one cup of water. So therefore we want a quarter of an ounce of tent. What I've done is taken a turkey baster and it's marked here by ounces. This is a quarter of an ounce. I had to tape the bottom up here so it'll hold dye. So we're going to put a quarter of an ounce in here. And there we have a quarter of an ounce. That's going to go in like so. And if you want, you can take just a little bit of water, just enough to rinse out some dye. And then you want to mix thoroughly. And what we get is a very, very rich purple dye. And there we have it. That's how we mix our stain. Okay, we taped our buried edges off and masked the inside of the shell. Now we're ready to spray some stain almost. Uh, you saw where we mixed the stain. The reason we mix 50% water to 50% alcohol is a little bit because of the airflow in this paint booth. If we used all alcohol, it would evaporate too quick. Would not have a chance to soak into the grain real well. Uh, so where I made, figured out that 50-50 was about the right ratio for this type of airflow. And we're going to apply this stain with a Sada Jet. This is an NR2000 HVLP, which is pretty much required HVLP these days. And we'll be applying it with this. And before we apply the stain, we want to tack it off with just a standard tack rag. And you can get this at any home improvement store.
how fast it's trying to evaporate without really having a chance to soak in, so we're going to turn the booth off. Turn the booth off to stop the evaporation process once it's evacuated the, the spray mist, that way it has a chance to soak into the grain. Giggity giggity, giggity goo. Stick around.